I'm so excited to share the vertical drainage with everyone out there. This actually works very good. Today we're using it for the downspout discharge. We're going to get rid of that pop-up. So just like all the other vertical drainage videos, we start by using the post hole diggers. What we're going to do is dig a straight down shaft into the ground. We use the post hole diggers first and then we'll use the shovel. This works the best when you have no slope in your yard. In other words, no fall going out to the street. A pop-up would work, but this works so much better and it is so easy to do. Simply dig a shaft straight down into the ground. We've got to get down to the hard pan. You'll know when you hit that hard pan because your shovel won't go down any further. It is very hard soil. So we need to use the post hole diggers to break through that hard pan. Next, we'll go ahead and lay out the downspout drain. We're using four inch corrugated pipe. You could use PVC, it works just the same. Go ahead and cut off some sod so you've got a good straight line to install your pipe and we're ready to dig this out. This trench will go all the way back to your downspout. We're gonna go ahead and clean the trench and we'll lay some pipe. This four inch pipe will connect to your downspout and it will come out here to the vertical drain, connect to the T that we're gonna put down here and it will drain just like daylight. Once you have your trench cleaned out, we need to do, to do a little bit more work on the vertical drain itself. We've gotta clean that out because we're gonna put a T here and it's gonna have gravel in the bottom of it. It's gonna break through the hard pan and allow that water to drain. So go ahead and install your T, and then you can snap your downspout drain to the T. And you can see how that's gonna set up. The water will come down the downspout drain, drop into the T, and go down into the ground. It'll go straight down into the ground. This is called vertical drainage. Now we're ready to backfill. Go ahead and stand on that pipe and put some dirt on there to hold it down because it'll try to pop up out of the ground. This is such a great project, especially for senior citizens. This is an easy project and you can do this. This is not hard to do, taking about an hour, hour and a half, depending on how long your downspout drain is. Next, go ahead and take that dirt that you had on your tarp and just pour it onto your trench. Pour all of it onto your trench. We'll remove some excess here in just a minute, but we need to get as much dirt back in the trench as possible. Try not to get it down into your vertical drain. If you do, you can dig it out, use your hand or whatever, but try not to get down into that vertical drain. We want that to stay open so we can pour some gravel down in there. This vertical drain is actually cheaper than installing a pop-up. A little bit more work, but all we need is a tee and a bag of gravel. That's it. We don't need any fabric, anything. We just need to get down. Our shaft has to be down into the hard pan. Take a look at this. Can you see that water coming down the downspout? It just pours into this drain and it will drain all day. I know it's hard to see that, so I'm trying to zoom in so you can get a really close view of this. But that water's coming from the roof, got the garden hose you know, in there, and now I'm just gonna put the garden hose straight into the shaft. Look at this, it takes water all day long. Your roof gathers so much water a 2,000 square foot roof gathers 1,160 gallons of water in every one inch rainfall. So now I put the grate on the top, just in case it ever did overflow, it has a place to come up, you know, and go back down into the gravel, down into the shaft, down into the ground. Again, this is a great project for the DIY, and we've totally gotten rid of the pop-up and actually solved a major issue when you have no slope or fall going out to the street. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Hey Houston, here's a great contractor in your area. 
Houston flood mitigators. Give them a call. So I've told everybody you can do this yourself. You see, we've got one of our female crew members out here to show you how to do this. If that man ever walked on my property, I'd call the police. Look at that. A quick downpour. This is coming from the French drain in the back. Let's take a look. Remember why we or you are installing this. There is a low spot way back here by the pool equipment and it's negative grade. So we had to dig through grade all the way out to the front to get this area to drain. And you saw that water come out. It works. Wow, does it work. We're pushing water through grade nearly 300 feet. 300 feet. And this is a project that you guys can do and truly save 10,000 plus. If you follow the instructions in this video, I guarantee you'll solve your problem. Just during that heavy rainfall, this little section of French drain, gravel perforated pipe, and the two catch basins collected all that water I just showed you out front. Tremendous amounts of water that we collect with four inch pipe. This is all gonna settle. Still some cleanup, of course, but wow, what a difference.